he's gonna be a dickhead. He's not gonna keep it real. He's gonna be too mean. Why the fuck are you here? What do we have here? <laughs> the Holy Grail of RDAs. Uh, I don't know why I never did a review on this product. Probably because when I was in this phase, I was going back and forth with Mikey U before he did the, uh, his, I don't really want to talk about it, but his Facebook group where uh, we're just going to kind of leave it there. But there's a lot of high-end products that are there. And one of the high-end products that usually pop up, and they're very, very expensive, would be the M Addy or the Meb Mods M Addy. Basically, it is a 22 millimeter dual coil RDA. Back in the day, me and Mike would go into it, especially with other people, but I think a lot of the people that used to be in the high-end community back then doing these waffles just stopped vaping or they just lost interest in doing it because of a lot of money that was spent that was never really justified. Like, you would go into a waffle, you would lose it, and be like, okay, I'm out $800, and then you would do it again. And there was a lot of times where me and Mikey got into it, and I won a lot of m -addies. And back then, I would take it and flip it because I knew that I would make money after using it for two, three times, this is no good, and then just get rid of it. And I never did a review because this is that time block, you hear me talk about this a lot, where I wasn't doing reviews. It was just kind of like, all right, get do some new high-end stuff. And I really wish there was a lot of things that I got that I did reviews on because there's still to this day no reviews of some of these mods, like the top hat. You might find a couple, but they're so rare, Geppetto's, Wapari's. I don't know, I just never did it. But the other day, someone asked me in the comments, and I was like, okay, let me go look around the business for the one M Addy that I have here that's used. I could not find it. So I was like, shit. And I don't want to open up the two that I have at home. I have a star version, which I think is the bright finish, and oh, second batch, 480 something, 41, 42. I don't remember the number, but they're brand new. And I was like, I don't really want to bring that to work because I can't even find the one that I have here. So what did I do? I bought another one. And I think I spent $1,300. Again. So why is it $1,300? Oh my God. I could give you stories. I could give you rumors. But the ditty goes a little something like this. The owner of this company created this just because he wanted something unique, right? So he created this, made a small amount, and when they were made, they were rare because there was very little. This is the rumor that goes around. Basically, the owner of the company had some of his friends get them from him and then flip them. And then it continued to happen. So you seeing it happen before your eyes as just a normal person, wow, this has got to be worth something. This has got to be a really good RDA. I'm going to bid $1,000 on it or $900. It's not that it's that good of an RDA. I'm not even saying that it's good in general. I'm going to show you a breakdown. Now, keep in mind the one that I got, the O-rings were really dirty. I'm sure the guy cleaned it, but you, you, you also have to remember that whenever you sell an RDA or an RTA, take the O-rings out because that's going to maintain a lot of that smell and that weird taste of whatever they had before. So I do have a set of spare, and this does have a squonk pin in it. Now, I do know that when they were launched i believe in 2015 there were squonk mods but they they definitely didn't have squonk pins in them that was something that was later made so i'm not sure the squonk pin that is in there but it does also have the stock pin now you're probably going to say okay is there diamonds in it is there guys listen this is literally a very very basic rda basic now i'm not going to tell you that the machining is shitty and it's going to be hard for me to judge a lot of the finish of it now versus what it is brand new, which would have made sense to do a brand new one. Because then I could have showed you the machining. But I remember the ones that I got that were even lightly used had great machining on it. Again, the finish was jacked up, but that'd be, that could be because someone's using it and they're just careless with it. So I'm about ready to show you what a 22 millimeter dual coil high-end Super, oh, the Diddy. I didn't finish that. Okay. So basically he had them sell them and flip it. I think I did finish that story. That's one of the rumors. There's also a rumor that there was only five made. 
And then after the five were made, people were like, okay, this is really hyped up. People are posting it. Sort of, and I'm not trying to put myself in that block, but sort of like the general RTAs. People see it, oh my God, the value of it goes up. But the market now versus what it was then, it would be very hard for a product to come out and maintain that same value that this has had over all these years. We're talking six, you know, close to six years. And this still maintains... The retail price, I think, was $139. Now they sell for... I, I, I don't know. you Because it's all bids and auctions, so... I, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to say it's worth is probably $700, maybe, $800, and that's really taking a poke at it. If I owned a vape pawn shop, that's what I would put the price point at. I guess we'll see. So I'm going to show you this. Uh, the packaging does not matter. This is not a clone. So before you say, Jay, this is a clone, if any of you are in high-end groups, you already know about me picking this up. And I, if I have to prove to you that I'm not purchasing clones, you're probably on the wrong channel. Unless, of course, you're one of those high-end people and you don't like what I have to say about certain products that you pick up and you're just assholey about it and you feel like you have to come here and downvote it Oh, he's going to be a dickhead. He's not going to keep it real. He's going to be too mean. Why the fuck are you here? So without further ado, let me not waste any time on you trolls. Show you what this is. Put a build in it. Keep in mind, we're talking about a 22 millimeter dual coil RDA. First off, a dual coil in a 22 millimeter is very difficult to find. Number one. It's not saying they don't exist, the Hobo 3.1. That, that It's not saying that they don't exist, they're just extremely rare. You'll see more high-end dual-coil 22-millimeter RDAs than you will high-end 24-millimeter dual-coil RDAs. That's a fact, Jack. So without further ado, let me bring this Emetti down and show you what we're working with. Don't, don't start getting all excited like you're about ready to see Jesus Christ making a wooden table, because that's not what's going to happen. Flip it. All right, here we go. So this is what you're looking at is absolutely nothing. So what I'm going to show you real quick is the deck, the cap, and the drip tip. Now, I do have some other accessories, and there is a wide plethora of them. You could get different barrels, get different drip tips, uh, decks. You could get a couple different, and what is really going to dictate the differences on the bottom? There is the Faded series, which is kind of the first version. There is a lot of different versions of this. Now, that doesn't mean that there's a lot of RDAs. Just what is on the serial, how it's serialized, what it looks like. Now, with clones, it's very, very difficult with these. And I'd have to say that this is probably one of the most cloned RDAs just because of the price point. And I guess China decided, hey, we can make a clone of this and make as much as money when in reality, no, not really the case. Now, keep in mind that this is used. This pin right here, I'm not going to lie to you, I have have no idea about that is not the stock pin it might be on the last rendition that they made but this may be some aftermarket jammy or just something that just works let's just get into the barrel shall we i just have to get this off give me a second okay so i had to get something in here to pry this up because i could not separate this for the life of me and it looks like i still did not separate that enough yet either Jesus. Okay, so that is what the top section is going to look like. Now, again, extremely, extremely difficult to decide whether or not, okay, is this by default or is this from being used? So this little section, again, you can also get with different colors, different metals, and e even now finding them is going to be extremely difficult, and anything you do find is going to be extremely pricey. So you have kind of a dual parallel airflow configuration. That's really it, right? Like, it's that simple. However, on the barrel itself, you either have a dual or a single. I'll show you this real quick. Let me zoom out. So on their website, right, you do have to be a member to do this. But on their website, you will see down here, hopefully I didn't go too far. 
yep, you'll see the post. And then this is the squonk configuration right here. Now you see gold, silver, and then down here on the bottom, it tells you which different options you have. So you have 24 carats, stainless steel. I don't know what DC stands for. Diamond coating, maybe? Compatible with all center posts. That's really it. The one that is in here looks to be stainless steel, so that is totally fine. And... <laughs> This is tough, man, because I, I know that you're probably looking at this saying, how in the shit is that worth what it is? I don't I don't have an answer, man. I really, really don't. And you could see that the O-rings are missing. That's because I took the stock ones off and I threw them in the trash can because well, they smelled like absolute shit. But here is the spare bag and then there's the original post with the screws that it comes with. And we're going to use the post that is in there because that's what works. And then there are your different O-rings. And the ones that come by default in there, I believe, are red. The same color as that. And then the drip tip itself would have two red as well. The deck has two O-rings, which have been removed because they've been cleaned. I'm going to use all the same O-rings. It's not like it's really going to matter unless I was to flip this or sell it. And I don't plan on doing either of those. So, drip tip on the top. Now, this is extremely well machine like looks really really good and then this section here will come out and then that is a 510 drip tip again fine scratches have no idea what those are from I, I i just don't know but this would go in here like this they stack them just like that and then down here on the bottom one o-ring just like that Now the deck. So you'll hear a lot of people talk about, oh, Goon was the first one to do a clamp deck. Nope. Nope. I am <laughs> I almost want to tell you that it would be Amati, but I do believe that there was a Filipino company in 2013 that made a clamp deck. So it, Goon is very much not the person that started this all or the company. There has been companies before, and I'm sure there'll be companies afterwards. But so let me just show you the screws on this regular screws and you can tell that the negative is milled directly to the deck you see how that works so you'd put a leg in here and a leg up here and then on the other side perpendicular to that and then this goes up it's extremely basic that's it just like that I, it doesn't get any, and when you squonk on this particular post, none of the ones that I have actually have a squonk. They're all just regular studded posts. But when you put the build in, you kind of, I mean, you're going to have a lot of room. You could do some really nice fuse claptons, and I mean, small fuse claptons, not the kind that people are using. But let me put a build inside of this, and then I'll show you how it vapes. This is not a super airy RDA. I just want you to keep that in mind. Now, how many people are going to go out and go buy this? Probably none. Because no one wants to spend this kind of money. But, I mean, <laughs> I don't have a lot of responses to that. You, I, I don't blame you. I'll just say that. I also have these as well. Just quick show you. I get these little stickers. These are other drip tips. This little section here is actually a spacer that would go on the other side of the deck to reduce the airflow not hitting both sides. And you have different caps like this right here. That's a black cap, and then some type of titanium, it looks like. Oh, that actually, that actually looks like Mokume. That might be Mokume, or Tamascus. That is one of the other. I feel like that is Tamascus, just based off the color of that alone. But I don't have the Tamascus cap. I don't think so. There is a little beauty ring. And then another beauty ring. Let's put a build inside of this. Let me show you what we got so you don't get a fucking panic attack. 28 dual, 38 on the outside. Little tiny jammies, 2.5 intermillimeter diameter. Let's put them in. Now, keep in mind, when you do put coils inside of this, you do have to use smaller coils. You are going to, it's going to drive you fucking crazy if you try to put bigger coils in here. So we're going to do it just like this. Just to know what you knew Christmas every time we start locking eyes up
that is the M Maddie. Let's bring it on the top. All right, the moment that you've waited for, and you can see I still have this burnt finger. I, you saw that, and the way it looked, terrible. Just licked it, and it smells like burnt pork and taco shells and hair. It's really, really terrible. And it just reminds me why I'm not cannibalistic. It just smells terrible. This is it though, the M Addy, and we're sitting at a 0.35, 44.5 watts, and that is a dual coil. Fuse clapped in 28 dual coil with 38 on the outside, wide open. Here we go. And it tastes just like my finger. Cool. So as much as I burn the metal off, the flesh is still on the, oh my God, that is terrible. Trying to get past that, there it is. Okay, it is super smooth, I'll give it that. For anybody that watches me and owns a Jenna RDA, I would say that this is about half of the air, no, less than half. It's not bad. But I would not say that this is designed for dual coils, like the amount of airflow. I feel it's a little bit restrictive. Again, each person is going to be different. Some people consider restrictive direct lung, what I do, like on the GT3 or on the Jenna RTA, as restrictive. <sighs> Some people even consider it mount to lung. I don't, I don't know how to compare this to something. Maybe... Uh, a lot of people have the Goon RDA, the one airflow halfway open. This is about how much airflow this has all the way open. You know, I... The fascination with this RDA is hyped up so much over the years. Again, I don't want to take away from the beauty of it, of how it looks. It looks like a regular 22 millimeter RDA. There is absolutely nothing special about this. Aside from the fact that it probably is one of the first triple posts or single posts with milled in negatives that has this type of configuration. And the gentleman, I believe, is based out of New Zealand, but these were, in fact, machine, I think, out of California, somewhere in the States. So it is American-made, but that doesn't, that's not why it's the price that it is. I can promise you the reason why it's this price is because they get away with that price. Not saying, well, I'm not going to say if it's a ripoff or not. It's definitely not a ripoff. It's just how deep are your pockets? How crazy do you want to get? Do you want to own something that, uh, we'll say in total, I, I don't know, over 1,200 were made, roughly, give or take, depending on which one. And then there's special cereals that, you know, friends and family. And, oh, my God, there's so many different. I think there's like seven or eight different variations, some rarer than the others. The star ones were very, very hard to get a hold of. I think they made 40 or 49, and I cannot remember the number that I have. I really wish that I had a brand new one to show you how it comes, like, with me, but I, I don't. And you're just going to have to deal with this. You think that this is a clone? You go for it, man. You do you. I'm going to rate this. I am. And I'm going to rate it for when it came out because when it did come out, I did get one. If I had to rate this RDA for the time frame that it came out, based off the price point of $140, I would give this an 8 to a 9, without a doubt. I do not, do not rate things based off of price points. I kind of have to hear because of what it sells for. Would you say that it's a higher rating because it's held its value and then some? Or would you say that, okay, it's not worth that? I guess you would have to own one to really chime in here. And I know that someone's going to comment down below as I got a clone and it's just a basic SRDA. I understand that clones are usually one-of-one, -one, but if you don't have the actual RDA made by Meb Mods, no offense, you can't really comment here saying that this is a piece of shit RDA. You have no ground to stand on. You could give an opinion about how it looks, but as far as functionality, getting a clone is not the same thing as the original. I get it. Dimensions are the same. The screws are the same. It 
I, I don't want to hear that bullshit. I really don't. And I'm not saying that spending $1,600 or even 1000 or 900 or $500 is worth it for an RDA. I've done reviews on RDAs that the Loot Mods Jammy up here, I think that was like 600 bucks. Biggest ripoff ever. This is a little bit different because everybody that is in the high-end game, even people that don't deal with high-end know what this is. If I had to rate it in today's fashion, still being a 22 millimeter dual coil with that much versatility, I'm going to give it a 7 to a 7.5. I don't think it's bad. I think the machining is good for what I can see, but I have no way of knowing how this was when he got it. I'm just kicking myself in the ass. I really should have brought mine from home here. I really, really should have. But you just have to take my word for it. Yeah, I'd, I'd put this in a 7.58 block, even for what it is. I can't sit here and tell you that I'd recommend you to go buy one, but if you're into collecting high-end things and things that are rare, especially in the vape realm, this is something that you're probably going to, at some point, need to get your hands on. However, keep in mind that if this is something that you're seeking and you don't know what you're looking for, I would go into trusted groups and trusted places where you can validate the authenticity of this purchase, meaning something from MedMods. Log into the account, show me an order number. So this way you know that that's real because someone, and I'm telling you someone, is going to try to sell you a clone for what the authentic goes for and you're going to be really pissed off when you find out that it's fake. So just keep that in mind if you're going to pick one up. And I've kept it real. Have you? There's your presentation.